known as Terlord. Today is the start of season 10 for me. Which means the beginning of new ranked season. The climbing is going to begin with us immediately jumping into ranked solo. Now I finish season 10, season 9 on uh, Diamond 4, which means in this season we are going to start from whatever. Let's hope that we are going to start from roughly around Diamond, Elo, but we'll see. Our main role is top lane, with secondary role mid lane. My idea behind this series of uh, rank games, which you can also, by the way, you can also uh, see them uh, in uh, videos on demand on Twitch, on uh, Twitch uh, TV, on Xander Yevitz channel. You can also see them on uh, YouTube. Uh, the parts will be added uh, after the stream. So the idea behind those series of games is simple. Have fun. Let people learn. Let the viewers uh, learn on uh, how the game works, on how the champion works, on how you play the game, how you play against certain champs, with certain champs that I play. I will try to give uh, some uh, educational tips, tricks. I will also going to try and fully commentate uh, the game process as much as I can. Though some concentration uh, is going to be needed from my side, so uh, if I'm going to suddenly stop speaking during uh, some intense pack mo packed moments, uh, basically uh, realize that I uh, need a bit of concentration. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so... Uh, we are assigned to top lane. By the way, I'm not going to pay that much attention to the in-game chat. Usually there is nothing interesting going on there. And it's just a waste of time. Just focus on your own gameplay. Let your skills do the talking, not your typing skills. Don't become a raging keyboard warrior. Be better, basically. So as you can see, like uh, uh, the patch uh, 10.1 also had arrived a bit uh, like uh, one or two days ago. Well, and I hope you will be uh, closer to your previous ELO after uh, promotion matches. Hello, Broski Yuri, and I also hope that we will be having a lot of fun while playing. And you will going to learn something new. Because uh, first and foremost, I want my content to not be boring to watch and entertaining. Okay, and now as I was speaking about the patch 10.1, uh, so Cassidy is still S plus tier in the middle lane. This quote unquote nerf to him, which they reduced his movement speed from I believe 350 to 345, is not a nerf at all. And we are fighting against Aatrox in top lane. Aatrox top lane. We'll see, we'll see. Who do we pick? Who do we start the season with? Hmm, let's start with Camille. 
Let's pick up the teleport. Conquer, press the attack. I don't know about conquer. Okay. So I will go with PTA. Triumph, Legend, Electrity, Coupe de Gras. In Resolve Tree, we will go with a Demolition. And Dole, probably, no. Let's go Shield Bash. Let's go with... Mm, bone Plating? Yeah. Also, we have Vladimir support. A very uh, nice start. Alrighty then. Now we are loading. So as you can see, we do not have rank borders, no one has them. Ooh, let's see, let's see how this will go out. So he has teleport, I have teleport. Can you do a certain challenge like not to die till minute 15 and or farm 120 to 150 CS? Uh, let's do not die till minute uh, 15. Let's try and challenge ourselves in the new season. Now let me start with Doran Shield. Now Aatrox early game is not that strong, but it's not that um, weak either. Uh, the thing, the thing that uh, you have to be aware of is not to get hit by his Q on on the edge Qs because they do crit and do knock up you. Usually Camille players uh, they kind of beat Aatrox in the early game but I do not really want to go into aggression Because as soon as I go into aggression, I start to make some unnecessary mistake, mistakes, and they cost me. Alright, we will not push the lane. We will slowly work our way towards winning the lane by playing safe. Start W, get three minions. We didn't hit him with W, but it's okay. He started Doran Shield. First blood. Okay. Uh, do keep an eye on that Aatrox uh, Qs. Each time he cast it, uh, his uh, cooldown on uh, Q resets. So his Q goes on uh, like cool uh, off cooldown every time he uh, casts it. Like even if he casts. Like one Q, it still like his cooldown starts to fall off immediately. Okay, my lane is slowly pushing, slowly but surely. Get this minion? No, cannot. So as you can see, like he did his burst, and I did mine. 
Now I have extra sustain, a bit of extra sustain, and I'm getting ganked. But since I'm Camille and they do not have stun, I am just going to... Can he spam it in the later stages of the game? Well, he basically casts uh, three Qs, and then they... Um, after like uh, two or three seconds he can cast another three Qs. Alright, he is out of flash. There is no point for me to stay in here, I'm low on mana. So let's go back. A bit of a CS advantage on his side though. So I see a uh, Kane is topside. He is going to go topside. Which means I'm not going to super push it. Play it safer. Also, uh, utilize Camille's W as you can. Try to hit uh, on the edge W. Since I have item advantage, I can allow myself to trade like this. So it would have been better to not get hit by his uh, third Q. Okay, so we are going to build our CS here. While we are at it, let's ward here. And let's ward here. He's trying to go back. Like, the longer he stays... Hello, Daniel. Okay, I'm getting ganked. Aatrox has no ulti. I still cannot really jump on him. His minion advantage is not in my favor. But I am going to do it anyway. I know that his flash was not up. And I know that I had my ulti and I had item advantage. So he is TPing now. Hmm, now let's take... I hate Aatrox. Well, he's not that strong. Comparing to what you usually have to face in top lane, he's like the tip of the iceberg. Okay, so he's pushing me a bit. Missing cannon minion is always not good. Okay, we have to go back now. So he went... Yeah, his healing can be annoying, especially when he casts his ulti. Basically, they call him Drain Tank. Has a lot of healing. Okay, so overall, we are in a good state. 
We do not know where Aatrox is, but uh, we do have to keep in mind that he has no TP because he used it. We also have to keep in mind the position of the jungler. We cannot see right now. Okay. I made a big mistake there. And also failed the challenge. Okay, now we are a bit below Aatrox in terms of gold. That's why we need to play a bit safer. Also, the Infernal Drake is up, and our team immediately going to try and secure it. I'm gonna ping that my teleport is in about is up in about 25 seconds or so. And the enemy team steals it. Now that's unfortunate. Let's see whether or not we can do a gank on Ari. Aatrox is missing. Sometimes ambitions must be restrained. Okay, I'm gonna gank. Okay, that's really good. Let's also kill bot lane. They have overextended a bit. I'm gonna go and try to kill Lucian. Or Karma. Whatever works in this situation. Great, great, great. If Lucian stays, we can kill him. Okay. So, uh, Lucian, no flash. Let's push this wave in. And let's go back. We have to go back to get to our lane before Aatrox does. Wait, Aatrox went bot lane. Alright, let's pick up a phage. Wait, Lucian went top lane. I know that he has no flash. Oh. Our Syndra is quite fat, by the way. But I do have to keep in mind Lucian's damage. On five meter ported, yes. <laughs> okay, did they swap lanes that early in the game? No, I'm going to have a bit of a problem facing them right now. Yeah, we got the first tower. 
Our mid is doing a great job. Unfortunately, we might lose our... Now I cannot force a 5 against two people. Nor should I. I'm just gonna lose this tower, but... There's nothing that you can actually do. He is doing quite substantial amounts of damage. Okay, Syndra should finish him off. Syndra is doing great job. She's fat. Uh, now we can either build Sheen or go for Ninja Tabby. I prefer Sheen for extra damage. But then we immediately going to build uh, Ninja Tabby as our next item because they have like AD, AD, AD and support and mid laner. So, how does Lucian do this damage with only a Blade of the Ruin King? Uh, press the attack. Basically, on Lucian, this uh, rune works perfectly. It allows him to basically do more than he's supposed to. To be more specific, press the attack, hitting an enemy champion with three consecutive basic attacks deals bonus adaptive damage based on level and makes them vulnerable, increasing the damage taken. Increase the damage taken by 10% from all source for 6 seconds. Also, enemy Kane is Shadow Assassin. Which means that he will be most likely going uh, to snipe our less HP targets. Since Kane top, they are not doing Dragon. And I have TP in case uh, a fight is going to happen. Okay. I so want to take this tower, but you can see he's just killing the whole wave. In well, besides cannon minion, in just uh, his one skill. So I cannot uh, stack minions to... Okay, so he went there. I'm going to go back to base, buy boots, and buy an attack speed dagger. Now we got an Ocean Drake. Ocean Drake gives us 10% uh, ultimate cooldown reduction. Which I believe is good for um, everyone to have. Now I believe our team can manage to win this. Yeah. They do not need to force a lot. Okay, so Camille's usual build for top lane is Tiamat, 
Trinity Force, Sterex Gauge, then also you build Boots, you build Death Stance, and depending on the team you might consider going for... what was this item called? Mm, let, let me see. Oh yeah. Uh, s Mercurial Scimitar. Uh, mostly for the QSS option. Or you can go GA. I believe Kane is still topside. And I do not need to go for this 2 and 7 RE. An ICA Trox in the top? Your team has destroyed a turret. Hmm, I wonder, are they doing Herald? Yep. Well, that was my bad. Didn't pay it enough attention. Can I fight this Aatrox though? He already has a uh, full item. I might with Trinity, but right now let's just farm till we get it. Shadow Assassin Kane kind of works against this Syndra. Just simply because she doesn't have armor yet. She needs Zonia's Hourglass. So I'm going back. I'm gonna wait a bit to buy another longsword. I have TP and I probably need to TP here. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, we are overextended a bit. Not the perfect situation, though our Syndra is here. Which means it's a one for one. I should have just went back and not jump on Lucian. Does he scale well against AD or AP champion since he's shadow form? Uh, shadow form is basically an assassin, so his primary role is to kill squishy targets. Uh, in his red form, this is a blue form. Um, in his red form, he's more tanky and he has uh, more. Um, healing and again tankiness in this form he has damage and speed once again let's just safely push this wave in and let's go and prepare for the next ocean drake which is gonna probably give us an, another bit of um, another bit of our uh, ultimate cooldown reduction. And let's also kill this Ari really quick. No, we didn't manage, but we managed to kill Lucian, force Ari's ultimate. Let's go back. Kane is top, which means that we can quickly secure Dragon without them contesting it. I'm waiting to buy this item, Joram's Fist. Okay, he dropped. Herald topside, I have to dispatch. Get rid of him. He 
he will not go, gonna go away. So as you can see, Harold now is kind of at least like first Harold is not uh, that tanky. He dies really fast. I'm slowly building my HP so that I will not gonna die that fast. Like having armor is good and all, but you also have to have HP. Okay, as you can see, managed to kill a trucks pretty easily. Aatrox is also kind of a late game champion. Okay, I should have called to my... Should have called to my E a bit longer so that I would be able to stun him immediately. Okay, by a pickaxe. So we're pretty much going to open all of their inhips. Alright, our team is overextending a bit. So... Let's go and try. Maybe let's try to catch someone. I only need time. The primary objective on the map right now is uh, Baron. Let's also kill Aatrox. No, we are not going to be able to kill him. Oh. So as far as I understood, he is not completely invulnerable when he runs uh, through the terrain. I'm talking about Kane. Uh, no, he's not invulnerable. He is just passing uh, through um, uh, through the terrain. Also, the reason uh, there why I wasn't able to kill Aatrox is uh, basically I have zero healing mitigation. Ignite would have helped. Um, also, probably Executioner would have helped. Alright, we need to stop doing what we are doing. Pay more attention uh, towards uh, Baron. And probably we should just uh, start team fighting. Because, like, split pushing is good and all, but with three open inhibs, I don't think that there is. any reason why we should, like, be split pushing. We can try to just force. You no, know, force Baron. We have Vein. Alright, I'm going to act as a, a bit of a distraction tool. Alright, Aatrox is TPing. He probably wants to kill me. Yep. I 
thank god that we are at the stage of the game where Wayne at least has like three items. So it was... We could have not forced this fight and just backed away. Let's also build straight towards executioners. And also it's GG. Okay, so we won our first game of today's series. GG, friend. Thank you very much. Let's honor Syndra. She played really well. Alright, so the yellow from where I started is goal 2. I have to win a good chunk of games to get to diamond. Right now I'm going to like 60 points, which means if I'm going to be winning the next... Yeah, they are throwing you back quite a bit, but for wins uh, you skip, I believe you skip promotions. You do not need to play promotions in those first 10 games or so. You just uh, have to make sure to win more. Because like every win is going like 60 points and then it will go and this amount will go a bit uh, less with uh, every win that you are going to get or every loss. Alrighty, as we are waiting for our game, I want to greet everyone who is currently watching. Uh, my name is Tarlord, I'm streaming League of Legends EU West ranked games. Primary role top lane, secondary mid lane. It's season 10, we won our first promo game. Let's hope we will win more in this episode. You are diamond. Why you should start in gold and not in platinum too, for example. Who knows? I believe last time, last season, when they implemented this season and this uh, kind of Promotion games, it was uh, pretty much uh, the same. Like I started from somewhere around gold 3 or gold 2 and then managed to get to like plat 2, I believe. Plat 2 or plat 3. No, it's, it's this different, uh, different style of promotion that they've uh, implemented. It's like still you're going to play your 10 games, but uh, instead of just putting you somewhere, they are giving you kind of chance to climb through the points accumulation. It's still random, kind of. Because I believe even the Master, Grand Master, Hilo players, they are starting also from somewhere around that area. Alright, so we picked top or mid and end up in the jungle. Okay, okay. That's going to be a new one. I'm not usually jungle mainer. Okay, Fiora is banned. Let's ban Cass. Why not?
in the jungle, I think I'll probably go with, like, what? Vi? Vi was buffed a bit. Uh, her ultimate is now unstoppable throughout her entire duration. So no more peeling slash cheesing when she's ulting an enemy AD carry and the team is just abusing the fact that she's not unstoppable while ulti. Okay. We pick Vi. Okay, electrocute. Eyeball, Relentless Hunter, and Triumph Alacrity. Okay. Triumph Alacrity. Great. No. Triumph. Triumph Alacrity, I said. Okay. This, this, this. Everything okay. All right. So, top lane will be Trindamer against uh, Maokai. No, no jungle. Uh, I wonder what what's my game plan. Yes, what should I do to make this work? All right, so it's Ghost Flash Trindamir. All right. All right, all right. I wonder on what, on what lane should I be sitting? Uh, since it's a uh, Drake bot oriented meta, mid and bot should be my priority. Though I like ganking pre six with Y is going to be a bit of an issue. Okay, Machete, Bot, and Ward. Alrighty. As far as I remember, on by counter again, confirm till six, probably. A summoner has reconnected. Okay, so let's see, W, E, Q, Max, E, Max, W, Max, okay, okay, okie dokie. Let's get cracking. Let's take blue. Then we'll probably take rates. And once again, I haven't played jungle, so... Pardon me if I'm going to have a bit of an issue here. Okay, we got this. Okay. Slowly working ourselves towards leveling. Okay. 
All right, let's go get ourselves a blue buff. Maokai with um, Aftershock can do a bit of a uh, work against Trindomir Zolins. Since they have Nunu Jungle, his clear speed will be a bit faster than mine. And I'm fully well, well aware of that. Just expect that he won't gonna come counter jungling me. Let's also grab this. Alright, so Nunu is ganking. And I'll probably go... yep. I'm gonna go and grab myself a jungler item. I believe Nunu went topside. In this case, we are going to be grabbing ourselves golems and probably bot lanes cutler. I really need six. Actually, you know what? Uh, Okay. Our mid laner still alive. That's good. Let's get this cutler. Okay, okay. We got her flash. Let's put a ward here. Let's go for top lane. Trindamir is overextending. I'm going to utilize this opportunity. Great. That's actually great. Let's go and clear our top side of the map. So, about jungle. I think that right now the meta is shifted more around simply kind of farming all right you farm and you gain from time to time I also need to go back and buy myself or probably I should like get Now we can kill, once uh, Syndra will reach uh, 6, we will kill Oriana easily. I'll just ult her and that's it. It's not uh, rocket science or anything like that. I'm going bot because I have ulti. Alright, alright. I was wondering why our AD carry was not auto attacking. Turns out she had like no HP. 
Well, they got dragon, and uh, it gives them healing. Uh, let's do this. Let's buy boots. Let's get ourselves oracles. Or Maokai is unfortunately going to. Will he die? No, don't die. I'm going to save you. Damn. I should have just smited him. I'm doing this my way. Let's maintain our pressure. Take Scuttler, take blue. So, a bit of a chill moment here. Once again, I'm trying to... I'm trying to think about what I should do next. Rift Herald is alive. We can kill Trindamir, by the way. Let me... Let me flank him, actually. Did I spot it myself? I think I did. Yep, I spotted myself. I am dumb. <laughs> and now mid lane is missing. You can use smite or champion, that's new. Yeah, you can use blue smite. And the red smite. Oh boy, wow. This guy is creating quite a lot. Let's see. Let's get the sheen. Interesting thing that he just went with double cloak of agility and just smashed me there. Yeah, they're going to dive. Face tank too much auto attacks. Yeah, well, the thing, the thing, interesting thing was that he didn't had like that much of um, he did not have that much of um, attack damage but it turns out that he did Let's see if I can do Herald now. Because we need some objectives. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get Herald. Probably gonna drop it in the bot lane. And get ready for Drake. Now no smite on uh, Herald. Okay, okay, let's take top tower then. Now, this will going to mean that we are going to lose another Drake, which is not that great. But we have to uh, trade objectives at this moment. Four percent attack damage and four percent ability power. 
next is mountain. Alright, we are going straight for Ninja Tabby and for Phage. The reason because Trindamir is going to be a bit of an issue. Well, not just a bit, he's going to be a huge issue. And our mid laner is unfortunately not going to be able to one shot him. I'm gonna try to gain bottom. And the reason for that is top tower is gone. I hope that Maokai will be able to stand up against Trindamir, at least at the tower. Okay, okay. Okay. We will push this tower. Oriana is missing. No, she's not. Uh, take the tower. Then go back by a phage. Buy an attack speed dagger. And work ourselves towards the mid lane. Let's help our AD carry to push this. Now that's an overextension from their side. Which we, of course, are going to utilize. Ow. This Nunu. No, 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 no. It's a triple for Trindamir. Damn. Is it? Black shield yourself. Oh, okay. Okay, so we are almost at the Trinity Force stage. Well, unfortunately, we can't do anything against Trindamir. So the next dragon is coming up in about 1.30. I will going to pressure more for the mountain drake for the defense rather than... I'm doing this. ...going for another herald. Okay. They know that I am there. Trindemir is probably... Wandering around. Nah, I'm just willing to defend this tower. Not willing to fight. The top scuttler. Okay. No, no. It's a 4v5, guys. Do not force, please. Please do not force. Nope. Please do not force. I wanted to ult Caitlyn, by the way. It seems that I altered the closest target to her.
MF is going to die. Yeah, he has ulti. Now oh, guys, we need we need dragon, we need dragon. Just go back. We need dragon, I have one smite stack. Unfortunately, no, it's fortunate we have we have a plant here. Trindemir does not have his ulti. We have to uh, not give up this dragon. I got ult in almost 15. We have to wait for misfortune. Now 680. Yeah? Oh damn. Trindemir has his old back. Yep. Oh great. Actually great. And we got the dragon. And we got an fight AD carry. So What's the plan from this point on? We got Trinity, we got Warrior Enchant. How about we go with... Hmm. Stack Armor. I'm too squishy. I'm gonna go for... For Sterex. Now the next objective on the map is Rift. Will I be able to take it? Nope. Not really. They will not gonna take it and I will not gonna take it. So the next objective on the map is Baron. Alrighty. No, my Scuttler. Trindemir has ult. Damn it. Nope. Like, this Trindemir is such an issue to me. It's such an issue. Uh, he has a lot of attack speed and he has almost... pretty much 100% crit. And we are donating kills to them. Like, I have damage, but I can't deal with Trindemir. He's... He's pain, painfully hurting. All right, she blown her ulti. Trindemir is now going bot lane. I cannot stop him. Syndra won't be able to stop him either.
they now have to disengage. I stunned him and I got killed by his E. Boy, does this train me annoying. Yeah, like, he is the only issue in this match. Like, if it wasn't Trindemir, there would have been no problem. Let me grab this. I'm gonna sell my pot. I want a ruby crystal. I want more HP and probably next item will be Dead Man's Plate for HP and uh, armor. Because he probably has again his ulti. This is lame. We overextended, we didn't reset in time. Got punished for that. Also our AD carry got grabbed by Ariana Ulti. Alright. We have to somehow manage to keep Trindemir off of our squishy targets. Also, he's the problem that forces me to, like... They have also a decently fed... A pretty decently fed uh, mid laner. The decently fed mid laner means that I have to buy armor. I have to take down this ward. Went so ham. I'm doing this my Let's do this. Let's try to do Baron. I still have one stack of smite. She has Zonias, by the way. HP for Baron. Okay. So as far as you can see, so far so good. Slowly but surely we were trying to win.
They are going to engage. Damn. Once again, they overextend. Okay, we got rid of Oriana. I don't think that they are not going for it. No, they are going for it. They aren't. They are. 800. I have 800 damage. Will I steal it? I I didn't stall it. I wasn't able to be able to steal it. I probably had a chance, but I wasn't able. I have to depush this. And I'm gonna immediately run towards dragon. No, run back. We need dragon. Do not give them four dragon. I'm gonna take this dragon and I'm gonna go and help my team. No, 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 no. I have to go back. Trindemir is running. Trin wants blood. <laughs> This tree in the mirror. He's an issue. He is almost full build. Managed to take down enemy I'm... jungler. Why this Trindemir is... He's already at the stage of the game where he... He's sole, sole issue of this game. Great. An ally has been slain. Has and our AD carry Rage quit it, I believe. This is really bad.
This Trindamir is such an issue. We need a full 5 on 5. Trindamir is trying to flank. have to. He is so fast with his flash and flash and ghost and blade and yeah. He is a huge nuisance. He last item that he will build is arm pen. This is insanity. Can we actually end this? We can. GG. Another win, ladies and gentlemen, another win. With first time jungling since... Who knows how much time in before. So, uh, let's honor MF. Also, let's do this real quick, so that you can see. Yay! 51 points. So as, you, as you can see, this system is kind of weird. Because it's like first win, you get 60, then 51. Next game, I might even get less. Yeah. Let's go towards the next game. So we want 2 out of 10. Let's win more. Also, let's go towards loot and open the box. Project Pike, by the way, legendary skin shard. Raimi. Even though I am not even playing Pike. But yeah. As far as we can see, we are moving on and on. Two wins. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream in this chilling and in the same time intense atmosphere of uh, League of Legends. Hopefully you guys are 
having a fun time, just as I do, and you learn something new. So in order to unlock it, I need 1520. There wasn't much I could have taught you while playing in jungle, because I haven't played jungle in such a long while. Wait, season 10 Hokage. <laughs> One of my friend's nickname is kinda identical to that. Ben Fiora. Also, I'm first picking top lane. I'm first picking top lane. I do not like this. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna... Let me quickly ask. Okay. We are not picking first big top lane. Mastery in jungle. Also currently not in high elo, but in lower elo. Master E uh, jungle is uh, kind of annoying to deal with. He's a carry jungler for the low elo. Also, if you search for like uh, YouTube and stuff about uh, League of Legends tier lists, you can see like uh, what's popular now, what's less popular. You can use this those uh, tier list as kind of a basis on uh, what champ should you try as a as a new player. You had Fed E in Diamond, isn't that a Hail? Diamond 4 is not a Hail. No. Once upon a time, Diamond was a Hail. <laughs> and nowadays. Nowadays, I tend to look at uh, the Diamond Elo as sort of a. Um, Sort of a how should I say this? Oh, well, it's not that high anymore. It used to, but it's not. It's more like, eh, I don't know, maybe Diamond One can be. Yeah, I thought I will be facing Darius, not Darius, but should I say it? Gangplank? But instead, I'm gonna be facing Cannon. Bot lane Zyra Khan is pretty strong. Zaya and Kaisa are still not nerfed. One of the high tier AD carry AD carries. And Caitlyn starts to climb there. Aphelios was there, but in patch 10.1 they nerfed him. They nerfed him pretty hard. 
Also, we have Spaghetti Man in the middle. I'm gonna go with Doran Shield, Hellpot, and War Totem. I've picked Teleport. <laughs> yeah. Thirty seconds until minion spawn. Sometimes the new champions' designs are, yeah. Some of them are good. Some of them are not. I'm still waiting for set. Point of the matter is, it didn't matter like both of these matchups, like Cannon or GP with Grasp, are not that great for Darius because they will just gonna shoot you, throw stuff at you, and shoot you more. Yeah, and as soon as like if you're going to miss your E, well, good luck. For the next like 24 seconds, they can do whatever they want. I really do not like, and I also do not like match up Camille into GP, and though it's in Camille's favor, I hate GP. I'm gonna start with Qian and I'm just gonna farm. I can't do much against this cannon. As you can see, as soon as I go, I'm going to grab CS, I'm gonna get hit. As soon as I do it again, I'm gonna get hit. And this will gonna become even worse when she is going to stun, start stunning me. She probably started... Yeah, she warded that bush. Unfortunately. Ow. Slowly and surely... This is going to become a problem, like, look. Yeah, yeah, I got you. This lost, like, more than half HP. Yay, that's good. Once again, I managed to do a trick when your jungler is basically using his control ability or slowing ability. I flash in, grab the enemy champion into that ability. And then I wait a little bit and stack another slow. So even if she flashed, Yay! <laughs> this is so good. They are so bad, that, but this is so good. And that, guys, is a very horrible performance out of their enemy top laner and jungler. They did not have CC, they did not have flashes, and they agreed it. Whatever floats my boat, I guess. Now I'm up in CS and I'm up in two kills. Oh. Good stuff. Phage and boots. And now I'm fast and now I'm really fast and I'm gonna catch cannon. But I still do not want to greet. There's no point for me to TPing there. Wave is gonna push into into my favor soon anyway, so it's pointless. 
She doesn't have flash yet. She doesn't have t uh, TP. I don't remember if Master Yi used it. He used his. Wave is pushing into my favor. I'm just gonna let it push. Yeah, you do your thing. I know you want to. Like, I already maintain a lead on this cannon. I'm going to hit 6 pretty soon. Yeah, that he is unfortunate. Gives her so much movement speed. Once again, that poke city is not going to stop. Yeah, one stun after another stun. Now she got six. I really wish that it wasn't like this, but it is like this. Right, now she does not have it. I wonder if she was leveling it up. And as you can see, I cannot catch. I cannot catch up with her. Let's go find ourselves a plan to regen regenerate a bit. I'm gonna be picking them. If I'm gonna. Problem is with me picking Merc Threats. They do not have a lot of CC, but they do have a lot of auto-attackers. What is this? This tilts me. Like, fighting cannon is straight up tilting. I might have to buy Mark Threads. This is annoying. Yeah, we'll have to buy it. Though so once again, just as I said, auto attacker, auto attacker, auto attacker, auto attacker. But Without Merc Threats, I can't can do much against... Those bot lane abilities that fly like nowhere. Let's ping that the top is missing. Can we get a... no, we cannot. Now oh, she has boots. One of the reasons that she's probably... moving so fast... is because she has her E level up. And she's seeking opportunity to just full stun me. I'm not gonna fall for it. This cannon. Like, this lane is unreasonably tough.
Cannon is there. I'll make good use of this. And I just immediately do this. I wonder if I'll stay here, and nah, there is no point. Yeah, let's go with this. So I wasted TP to get an assist, Cannon wasted TP to get nothing. I'm in a bit of an advantage, and my minions work on the enemy tower. They got a plate. She's probably building gunblade. I have no idea why, even though Cannon usually builds Proto Belt. My idea on Darius is built pretty similar with Camille. Alright. Whatever. I've blown her flash. They are probably gonna go for... Yay! So his TP is gone. Let's get the Drake. If they come, we can kill them. Poor Master Yi. You can't get those kills. You can't get those kills. Oh boy. Three, zero, and one. Good stuff. We're gonna take the first tower in bot lane. The greed that Cannon didn't manage to hold was basically the reason why. I mean this game. Because usually with a good cannon, she will not gonna let you do this. Like, not by a long shot. Okay, I'm getting ganked. Good thing that my movement speed is uh, decently good in addition to the fact that I have phage and if I kill minions with it if I kill minions I'm gonna get even more movement speed okay let's work on the tower uh, I believe five people are in a top area Rakan ulted. I don't know if... Wait a second. Thanks, 
Damn. Those guys. <sighs> I wanted to make good plays, but as soon as I went for the Q to proc my 5 stacks of bleed on the enemy... Do you think Nunu is a hard jungler to play? No, he is not. He is actually... He and uh, Ivern are pretty newbie friendly. But at the same time, um, I don't think that like Ivern can carry low elo games. Because uh, Ivern needs synergy. Synergy with the team. He on his own does not do a lot of damage, but he is a great second tank jungle support, so to say. And Nunu? Uh, Nunu can do damage. He is also tanky. He can heal a lot. Uh, much better, uh, I think, in uh, lower elos. Also, this Master E seems like he's a first-timer. He does so many mistakes. Yeah, let's work on the tier 2 tower. I really wish that Riot didn't nerf the synergy between Starax and Trinity Force. I really do. But once again, like, in my opinion, Riot does not love bruisers at all. Like, to them, they are second rate or even third rate champions. Unfortunately, I'm like, really unfortunately. Because to be blandly honest, the amount of nerfs that Bruisers received is actually mind-numbingly stupid. Like, why? Why do you nerf? Poor Master Yi. Even with flash hold on low HP target, no luck. Yeah, I believe this this is a win. I have no idea how will we manage to lose this. Maybe they will going to surrender. But yeah, as far as you can see, I'm building pretty much the same that Camille does, except without the Tiamat. Unlike Darius, Camille without the Tiamat struggles. Uh, Camille struggles with wave clearing. Her E and W are kind of high on mana. So yeah. Also, Gunblade, Cannon, I don't know. Pretty much all Cannon players are building Protobelt, Zonia's Hourglass, Rabadon's Deathcap, like, you'll not see Gunblade. Weird choice. It's not Akali, it's not Katarina. For them, this item is a core build. But yeah. Right now, I'm just gonna. Oh boy. Just gonna run back. Yeah, once again, they made mistakes. 
I didn't even have to waste flash or anything like that. This poor Master E. Yeah, GG, they surrendered. Let's give this to Olaf. Prompt to Olaf and greedy enemy team. 3 0 right now, yep. I'm 3 0 in my best of 10 series, basically. But as you can see, like. This is their system, which means that I'm going to start Platinum. Just because, like, first win 60, then 51, now 46, there's a Riot Games system. Rank system, yeah. I would say how I, quote unquote, laugh there rank system you do great you are not getting you are not getting how should i say it you are not getting promoted for doing great and that's unfortunate really unfortunate Because uh, even if we count like, like what, four victories, five victories more, like add to this number uh, around like how much, two or three division at max. Once again, first big top laner. Can I pick for someone? Let's ban Fiora. Let's ban Fiora and wait to see what's going to happen. Can you first pick Aphelios? Nope. Because I do not have him. Nor do I plan to buy him. Uh, I don't know. I'm a first pick top. Let's see. You can rely on. I'm gonna be clad. Some say clad is good. Who knows? We'll see. Also, if you want to know how to build what runes to pick on a certain champion. There are websites uh, such as u.gg where you can basically see what pro players are building, uh, what uh, regular players are building, the usual win-loss ratio, and so on. It's pretty simple to use. And pretty effective. And pretty effective. I'm gonna be laning against Mord. Well, 
more and more and more. Clat into Mord. Okay. Okay. Let's pick R. And let's. Have you ever played Clat? And where did Nar go? Nar is good. Uh, Nar was buffed. Um, I think with Nar, you can basically poke, uh, poke people down in your range form, in your mobile. And they also gave him buffs to his uh, Mega Nar form in terms of more magic resist, more armor to make him more tanky. He is a good pick, probably a safe one. I probably should try to play him. But yeah, in this matchup, gonna go with D Blade. <laughs> oh boy. Gotta laugh, glad with his quotes. I didn't pick Camille or Darius into this matchup because I already. First of all, blind picking Camille or Darius is a bad thing. You can get hard countered, and uh, my experience against Mort is. I tend to lose, I tend to lose against him, even with advantage, I tend to lose as soon as he gets his level 6. He's hard. I will gonna have to probably rely on my uh, healing reduction and burst against Mord. Okay, put a ward here. Let's start with Q. Usual reg regular start. I'm glad. He picked the shield. I'm just gonna play kind of safe till level three, I suppose. Okay, so two for two in terms of mobs. Just as I said, do not... Do not uh, go in until you get a couple of levels. Preferably, preferably level three is where you can try to go in. According to tier listing, Nar, uh, not Nar, uh, but Clet uh, is around S plus tier. So as you can see, that's my burst basically. He really did not like that. Also the fact that I uh, cut his heal down substantially, that's one, another reason why Currently, I'm currently, Clat is kind of good to play. And also the fact that Conqueror gives excessive healing right now to, uh, to Clat. And healing means you will going to be sustaining more. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna wait. Poke him again. He is wasting his shield, by the way, for no reason. Do we tower dive him? Like, I mean, I can jug uh, juggle tower aggro with mount, mount remount, but I guess that Mort is just going to go back. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back also. So at least it's counter jungling. And I also gonna go in to get some kills, kills, kills. Great. That's what you call a punish. I got an assist, which works. Also, um, Mort immediately started to buy armor. Just simply because I'm full physical damage dealer and Conqueror does not do... They're all does not do true damage anymore. First. Ow. He's six. Damn. With six and with Nocturne coming, we can kill Mord really easily. It's not like he's unbeatable. He got his passive out. I missed. I missed. I'm dumb. Damn. I missed all time, misjudge my damage. That's how you give him an opportunity to get back into the game. Whatever. Award. We can probably can we gank mid? I think we can. No. Yes. Yep. 
Now that guy overstepped his presence also. Drop a ward here. Actually, the top side is decently warded. This guy is going to freeze. Which means I can go back and buy boots. And another ward and another pot. Well, just because you're a hallucination and I don't speak lizard, don't mean I can't understand you. He is slowly but surely pushing my tower. I really do hope that Ari will going to take the first tower of the game. Okay, placed his regular ward. This big sky, this green land. Now, how can I share this with anyone? Okay, that was a good punish. Only gonna be this yeah, I know what you want. I'm not gonna give you this opportunity. is missing. Now I bought boots. Probably I should have bought like uh, started build towards I don't think that we should dive him. We should just take the first tower. Also, I keep forgetting that Clad cannot pass through. Pass through objectives. Oh boy. We are messing up completely. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, we got a second tower. Yeah, Clad's damage comes from mostly the auto attack. Yep, mostly from W. That, that's a fiesta continuous, I believe. I'm not gonna let you take this tower for free.
Kaiser is getting bigger. Yep. He's 3 0. You do come up with the best idea. We have to set up pickups. The enemy team. Because we can. Also, I believe Varus was the and was the AD carry who got uh, buffed. Varus is dead. I need to go farm, by the way. Team fighting is good and all, but I need some items. Okay, dokie. Let's push this in. Soon the second Drake is going to be on the table. Gotta watch out for that. So I do not have my ulti, otherwise I would have just went that. Let's also get this. So that we have vision on Drake, which comes in about 15 seconds. My ult is still on cooldown. Yeah, this team fight was really bad. Our virus again got blown up. For who knows whatever reason. This is really bad. Our Ari just... For some reason, a fat Ari cannot kill anyone. I don't know. This is turning from possibly win to a more rising loss. We have Herald, but we cannot put it anywhere on the map. So I'm getting towards my Black Cleaver pretty soon. 
I don't know why do they want to fight there, but whatever. Nah, they know that I'm flanking. Oh boy. Damn it. He does so much damage already. Yeah, well, we are going to lose this. Yep. Draven is overfed. to stop it. Nope. Probably not. Stop Baron, <laughs> but who gives? This is madness. Oh, wait, we didn't stop Baron, they took it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I got my black cleaver. It's not like it will going to... Yeah. Draven is massive. He is so strong right now. is probably going to die there. Dragon, which is mountain, is on the table. Ooh, I don't know if we we're gonna be able to win a team fight. Nope. They're gonna take it. I'm gonna get even more tank here. Yeah, I guess it's going to be like the first loss. We will try to win, but. It's not like... Doesn't look that possible. Damn. This Nocturne. And we cannot stop it. We cannot stop it, really. I'm 
Nope. Nope. We can't. Okay. I guess it's going to be our first loss of the series. Nothing to be really ashamed of. Losses happen. And this Draven is just bashing everyone with his crits. So, GG. Move on to the next one. Let's honor Ari, whatever. Yeah. So we didn't lose any points, but we will going uh, to start losing them eventually. That's at least a good point. But it will still going to influence uh, our overall score that we will be getting for wins. Because the more you play, the more you play, The less and less you're going to get. Yep, six opportunities. Because we won like what? We won three, we lost one. Yeah. Slowly grinding, basically. Grinding our way in. Finally, we are not first pick top lane. Hooray. I still have to find a champion that I can play into Ward safely. Okay, once again, Fiora Ben. Also, I believed in the patch notes they did not address the Cassiopeia state. She is still strong. But then again, like if they will address it the same way they addressed Cassidy. Uh, I don't know. Bard, where is he right now? Bard! Where is Bard? Sometimes you will see him. Most of the time, nope. He is not that popular. People like to play something that's easy and better. Nerfed heart? Nope. Just not popular in comparison to what is played right now. But yeah, sometimes people play him and win with him. It depends. Also depends on what AD carry you have. And situation. My heart and sword always for Damasia. Uh, 
Mecha Kingdom Garen skin is looks good as well as uh, the Mecha Kingdom set. So for uh, those of you who tuned in just recently, we are playing our best of 10 series. We are currently at uh, the three wins, one loss. Still have six games to go. Owie, it's Queen top lane. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. This nasty. Yeah, queen top lane. It's going to be... It's going to be... an invade early on, because they have blitz. We have trash. Alright, no one has teleport. Great. What's going to happen in top lane is... I'm gonna get bullied. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I believe this uh, skin... Nautilus also has... a skin from that lineup. Orange shield, HP pot, and we are going top into the war zone. To Boy, will it be hard to lean against that queen the earth itself shall bend to my will. without jungler. There is no way I'm going to engage on her. Nah. We are stacking up here just because they have blitz in case they invade. Oh boy, great. Minions have spawned. Courage, conviction. So I have no flash right now, but it's rather I'll have no flash, then I'm going to die. That invade situation. Hail of Blade Shaco. So it's a bad matchup in general. Yeah, in general, melee champion, interrange champion, in this state of the game where you basically fight top 1v1, it's an insanely bad matchup. Ow. Ow. Damn. I should have just waited. Riven, though. Hmm, maybe. Is dep it depends on uh, whether or not uh, Riven will be able to press her stun fast enough before Queen will jump away. Uh, 
Um, that's a hard man. I can't even imagine, like, I really can't imagine how they managed to make Garen bot lane even work, even working on worlds or in tournaments in general. She keeps hitting me. Let's focus on CS. So with Doran shield I'm having... Oh wait, Nocturne was not going there. I thought that Nocturne is going to go in. Yeah, I should have taken the kill. Kills are pointless for me. I am reborn. For great justice. Well, if I had flash, I could have survived that. But it's a one for one. Which is in general not, not that bad. I'm moving there as fast as I can. Nocturne want to set up like another game. Yay! Usually that's how you beat champs like Queen. Jungler is your best bet. And same goes to champ like Vayne. Yay! Now that's that's a disaster for her, by the way. Good job, really good job. Basically, he single-handedly won this. Uh, Chase is not a fully melee champion. He is a hybrid because he can go into his range stance. Yeah, he's safer option. Because he can trade with Polk. Yeah, we're gonna push this in. Yeah, so we managed to pretty much destroy enemy top tower. On my next back I should take... Uh, take it. Okay, go on this. Go on this. Now we go actually go on this. To have Oh boy, Shaco was level six. He's there probably. Nope. 
I'll start in Nocturne. I miss the cannon again. I cannot fight her. This is insanity. Even one three, like. Huh. That's why I hate this. And I'm getting ganked. Well, thankfully, in terms of objective, we have full control. Damn, is this matchup boring? I cannot fight her. I can't do anything. Okay, what happened? You jump with Q active and didn't say uh, she basically resets your your attack animation so you cannot attack her. I'm gonna push this fast and I'm gonna try to take her first tower. No, she's already backed. Wow, that movement speed. She doesn't even need TP. No, probably would like, I don't know, Frozen Mallet, I could have beat her, but... This current situation? Nope. Possible. Such a farm fest. Which means we farm. And somehow, well, somehow, thanks to the Nocturne. We are actually pretty much even in CS. I can flash Q her. Nope. Cannot. But she is out of flash. Question is whether she is low enough for me to just go all in on her. No, he's not. Of course he was there. It's so impossible to predict like where the jungler is going to be. Yeah, we got ourselves Trinity. He did not answer on my question. Serene Shield and Frozen Heart are absent from the game. In terms of Ruin Shield, 
Frozen Heart is in the game. There he is. Frozen Heart. Uh, Ruin Shield. You mean Randuin? Randuin is in the game. I don't know what's Ruin Shield. Randuin is in the game. Shield that slows auto attacks. Yeah, it's Randuin's. Randuin's Omen. Alright, so our dragon is going to be up. I have no idea where Queen is. This Shaku, yeah, I'm doing bad. Gonna build Ninja Tabby. The Shaco is everywhere. Just help Nocturne rush this boy while this is. The fact that she can reset my attack animation, I mean, not reset, cancel it, is a very bad thing. And the fact that we also lost the Mountain Drake is another bad thing. Queen is top. I'm gonna try to flank her. I probably want to push this push this tower. Because we have to have to maintain our pressure. Okay, so we got two towers. Solution is working on the third one. I agreed it. I agreed it. I thought I had her. Okay then. This Shaco is going to hit them. They will gonna come. Damn it. And this too falls under my domain. Yeah. 
We are only two here. Actually, I need to go bot lane. I need to switch with Lucian and split push. Realistically speaking, my job is to kind of split push. So the reason why I built Phantom Phantom Dancer as the second item on Garen, it's kind of mainstream thing that you are. general item right now is actually a phantom dancer and a trinity force building that attack speed now they forced my flash They are putting Herald up there, and Syndra is down with me, so it's 4v4. Your team has destroyed a turret. Contrition will not save them. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, we're gonna lose a dragon. Nothing I can do. But... It's actually... This was actually kinda expected. Let's buy a Phantom Dancer. Let's go bot lane. Our next item should be something for defense. Or maybe not, we'll see. They are rushing Baron. No, they are not. But now they might. I'm keeping Queen there, just, just to apply some kind of pressure. I hope it will work out. Because we cannot really force a 5v5. Shaco is huge. A 
that's actually great. That's why we immediately go there. Managed to they managed to kill Shaco. Oh yeah, my next item will most definitely be for a frozen mallet. Just for the purpose of dealing with this nonsense. That is moving so fast, that is Die. Are they st really starting Baron? Yeah, they are. This is ridiculous. Yeah, seems when in doubt, spend surrender vote. Yeah, that's actually the gist of it. This nocturne is just always trying to jump on the enemy mid laner. And this Shaco is fat. Oh boy. And Nocturne Rage quitted. Yay! Seems fair. Yeah, it's four versus five now. This is really bad. I've seen no Lucian pressure whatsoever, so might as well say it's like 4v3 or something like that. And they can just kite me down. I seriously know cannot understand. Yeah, they all... they just spam on me. This Nocturne, man... Thought he is going to do good, and he did up until the point when he just trolled over and over and over again. Yeah, typical solo queue. Not gonna deny it. Okay, I might as well like pressed. Jeez. All right, three and two. Yeah. Yeah, better luck next time. That's why we are going 
to go into the next game. Alrighty then. Also, we are not going to pick Garen. I s oh no, again first picked up. Great. Usual Fiora ban. Yeah. Is Jace a safe pick? Well, if you know how to play him, he might be. And genuinely speaking, anything like range can be safe top. Let's see. Do we go get Let's go, Camille. Precision is the difference between a butcher and a surgeon. <laughs> okay. Okay, and no. right. We'll see who will they pick. And judging from the pick, from the pick, we are going to change runes. PP, huh? Okay. That's probably GP with grasp, because nowadays GP has no other. Valuable option in room, either than going grasp. And because it's grasp, we go press the attack. Go press the attack, I'm bone plating. Oh, second wind. And here everything is good. My general idea will be to farm and maybe try to beat him early game. I hope so. Yeah, so you see, it's always going to be like this, always grasp. Right. Olaf is strong early game jungler, so we have to watch out for that, especially like fighting if a 2v2 is going to happen. He's going to be a bit, bit of an issue. Our mid laners are more ten tending towards farming and then mid late game carrying. What is my win rate as Camille, and how many seasons have I played as her? I started really hard playing her. Season 9, I believe. Yeah. And win rate was around like 
51%, maybe 50. So in this particular matchup, we're probably gonna go with a corrupting pot and a ward. I started playing her because I liked her design. She have undergone some some changes over the past seasons. Our team is invading. I think we should kind of help them. Must be preserved at all costs. Yay, that's actually good. I'm gonna have to TP it up. That's an early TP, by the way, not that great. Okay, so since I started W, we're just going to try to... And we both have Corrupting Pots, so we're both going to be sustaining. He's such an issue. As he stacks his, like... Okay, he missed triple barrel combo. He's pushing so hard. Wow. He is missing. I'm gonna ping that. He probably went back. I'm gonna just slowly bring this wave to him. Yeah, he went back for the mana crystal. What an annoying peak. his pots, his biscuits, no point. Fortune the 
Yeah, let's do this. No, let's actually do this. He will be rushing Sheen. And I believe sooner or later he's going to TP, uh, go back to base and TP back to lane with Sheen ready. He's freezing, I have to unfreeze it. I really do. And he used his TP already. No, he didn't. It was I who did. He's going back, he got his shin. Yep. I still do damage. They cannot go in because I won't have enough damage to kill him. He wasted everything. Let's push this in. Even though it's really risky, but we have to. We are having trouble with CS. We have to at least somehow manage to buy an item. Alright, so he has Ninja Tabby and Sheen. Case of Ninja Tabby and Sheen, we are going with the Sheen. I wanted to TP bot, but since all have to dragon, that's an issue. Okay, we are going back to the top lane. Now, since he bought his boots. Mm, 
is going to be... Yeah, bot is dying. At least this way we can do something. They fixed the bug when sometimes skills can follow you to the fountain? No. They still can. This hurts. What a delicious shade of green. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna start working on my my basically TM at with jungler we can easily kill GP. And now he has no flash. He is building towards Fage already. Another kill on GP right now with the jungler means that we basically can... We basically can take his tower. Alrighty. Results are all that matters. Hmm. Anivia is missing. GP is missing. They probably set it up again. That's good. That's actually good because now we again we're gonna go back. Man, he's freezing. Freezing the lane. No, we cannot even make a use of. Yeah, all of damage is high. We cannot make use of my TP. It's just useless. Thanks, babe. Forgetting yours is dangerous. Damn, we have no bot lane. It's so sad. <sighs> it's so sad. It's so strange how this bot lane is not winning. Honestly. Unfortunately, we are not at the stage of the game where Vladimir can one-shot people. Alright, our Lee Sin is AFK for some reason. 
Ow. And damage. Wow, one barrel, one Q. Half HP gun. <sighs> this balance. So annoying. With 70 armor, pointless. He, he just slices through that armor with no problem. Take the tower first. Actually, let's let's push further. Let's take a second tower. Great. Please, something out of nothing. I keep forgetting that Lee Sin is kind of fat. At this point of the game, it does matter. Alright, what can I buy? I need to sell Madoran. I'm still not even close enough to getting my Trinch Force. He is already 50 CS up. Yeah, they switched, and against Anivia, I'm not going to do anything. I think they know. I think it's worth it. Okay. That was a weirdest ult, but I guess it was just to check. Well, let's use this time not only to farm, but to say hi to the people that are on the stream. My name is Terlord. Uh, I'm streaming League of Legends ranked game. EUS server. Currently we are at the score 3-2. Basically. 3 wins and 2 losses. Question is, can we make more wins? Less losses. As I'm streaming, I'm trying to give uh, some tips and tricks towards uh, people that want to learn how to play this game. I uh, share my opinions and I try to make uh, the atmosphere of the, at the atmosphere of the stream as uh, comfortable and as friendly uh, as friendly as possible that's that's basically my goal we are not just simple 
rank grinders. We are also trying to find. How should I say it? Uh, trying to find. Uh, fun factors of the game. Okay, that's good. Alrighty, we got a dragon, we got four kills. So we are swinging this match in our favor, little by little. Our Vlad is getting fat, our Lee Sin keeps getting fat. And Lee Sin right now... Uh, Lee Sin right now... The way the, his Q works right now is that um, he hits uh, for... On his second Q, he hits for the remaining HP. So basically, his damage is now a bit more powerful. So that having kills on him is not that wasteful. And he's quite tanky. Like, he's way tankier than I am. I wonder, can we kill this Zaya? I really hope we can. Oh. Alrighty, GP will finally manage to take this tower. But no worries. One tower here, one tower there. Not that big of an issue. Now, I'm not gonna jump into this support simply because I don't know where Olaf is. Okay, I managed to survive. That's great. Let's reset. Reset. We do not need to force it. And as I said it, I went in and throw in. <laughs> Damn. Really need Vlad. Vlad can do wonders. As you can see, boom, one dead. Boom, another dead. Let's imagine that this was all planned to make our Vlad fat. The key to immortality. Okay, let's work towards Sterex Gauge. Boy, he's fat. So as you can see, he only has like two full items. And he already smashes the enemy team so hard. Uh, let's... Uh, let's what? Let's farm a bit. Having to play League of Legends right now. Is kind of hard. Because so much stuff. There is so much stuff that basically can one shot you or two shot you 
but it's like it's like really hard but as you can see we are managing Hold Olaf so that he cannot escape or sit on our AD carry. Can you play Jace next game if possible? I'll try. I'll play. Just for the sake of experimenting. So far so good. As you can see, like... My stats were like poorly against GP and even now CS is poorly. But I'm still contributing in team fights. Helping the team. Basically making myself at least somehow use uh, useful. Boy, this Vladimir. <laughs> Caring. <laughs> Want to see how he bears now in comparison with all Jays. Okay, I'll try. I'll pick him next game. Just to spice things up a bit. Hmm, so GP went for the Executioner, meaning that he wants to... He wants to cut the healing that Vladimir has. Three people there were totally unexpected. So Rakan used star, Olaf used star. Damn. Yeah, hammer time. We will going to play him next game. So you see, once again, my point was, yeah, I died, but substantial ults fr from their team that are needed, were needed for that team fight, were basically depleted. Also, I don't know why he beat there, but whatever. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, this flat. So yeah, we might just finish the game here. Yeah, let's just finish the game. Camille does good damage against turrets. Let's utilize that. Heals are good to know, but the win is better. GG. Alrighty then. So now the score is uh, 4 and 2. Let's honor Vladimir. Actually, even Lee Sin, because he managed to... 99. Just give me... Plat. Plat 5. Boy, Plat 5. Okay, so... Uh, 4 and 2. 4 games more to go.
slowly but surely we are climbing our way up and yeah there will be no way we are starting diamond nor i believe we will not gonna start plat two So the stuff that I have been afraid most is starting in somewhere in the middle. Turn out to be basically the reality. Okay, we are less being in top lane. Good thing. So Ben Fiora. Still haven't been in bronze rank. I wonder does anyone stream rank from there? I believe there was one person. I forgot his his name though. And I believe it's not bronze now, it's called iron. Iron Elo. Alrighty then. Let's keep going up. Up. Up as much as we actually can. Oh, it's clad top. I don't know. I'm really Jace gonna go into clad. Yeah, but we might pick him. I promised to pick him. And we'll pick him. Right. Velka's mid lane. Stop shooting to clad. Why Camille does good into him? Hmm. Yeah, let's go Camille. Is the difference between a butcher just to just to be sure and they have such a heavy burst team and those two running around just trying to snipe people so we change second wind to bone plating The rest is going to remain the same. Let with ignite, by the way. See? Yep, everything is good. So, Clad with ignite. Uh, which means heavy early game pressure. I expect to see that. Keep up on getting more wins. Yeah, I want to try and maintain a good MMR. Just simply because I want to give you, the viewers, the best of my performance. But also I want the viewers to have fun watching it.
Because games, games should bring entertainment, fun. If they not, well... Then they are not. And it's bad. Okay, so... Okay. I wonder what should I pick. And let's go with pot again. Uh, the usual how we, uh, how we, me and you, if you want to uh, try out this matchup or any other matchup, uh, the way how you fight clad, uh, you basically need to force him to use his stuff, like his triple W especially. If he gonna use it, if he gonna use his uh, Q, you can go in on him and trade with him. If he has everything up, do not go in. Disengage and that's it. It's not actually about surviving his burst, it's going away from his burst and then going in when uh, you have yours. Otherwise he will out damage you. And also when he is dismounted, dismounted uh, try to stay try to stay a bit away from him, so that he cannot get his uh, free reset on the mount. Okay. Gonna wait till this debuff goes down. I'm gonna heal. Alright. Nothing going on. So he probably leveled up uh, as a second skill his E. Yeah, because if he wouldn't... Then uh, we would have seen that. He's, he is level 3, so now he can uh, go in. Since I don't have my level 3 yet. Now I have it. Now if he is going to go in, I can uh, go away. But preferably dodging his... As you can see there. Would have been better if I wasn't hit by his Q, but it's okay. Yes, that's good. That's actually good. Wave is in my favor. So I do not have to TP. And I'm gonna buy a long sword. Because why not? He should have rotated faster. Uh, probably could have... Ranger would have survived. Good job. Good job from Ranger. He has... Alright, let's do this. 
Now that I have double buff, he is going to play a bit safer. Yeah, but hitting by the tower is really unfortunate. I want him to... Yeah, and since I have pots, damn it. The attack spooked me really hard there. My buffs are running out. I'm willing to waste like pot charges. Yeah, well, he wasted his ulti. I don't know what he was planning to do, but it didn't work out. Which means we are going to miss CS again, for some reason. So sad that I do not have like my An ally has been slain. And why did I TP in there? Yeah, this bot lane. <sighs> Tiring. That's why I hate bringing TP as a summoner spell. I really do. Because it's so pointless and so in queue, it's... Whatever. In most of the cases it's just UTP and it's a waste of time. I don't know where the enemy top laner is, by the way. What is this? No, seriously, what is this? <laughs> Oh boy. Ganking 101. You're gonna miss everything. You're gonna still try. Chen with his ult, also pointless in solo queue. No, actually, according to what statistics says, Chen's win rate and peak rate is going up because it's more of a hot uh, dragon oriented uh, game and because of that picking him is actually not pointless his uh, value is uh, rising up a bit quite a bit actually Oh, I don't know if I should have stayed, but we stayed anyway.
Okay, let's go buy ourselves a Tiamat, Boots, Ward. Let's immediately run towards top lane. Yeah, this guy... This guy has... Phage and a Tiamat. Yeah, he greeted, greeted for the plate, paid with his life. I'm gonna push a wave in and run away because he will gonna go top with his ult. Yeah, unfortunately we are not going to be able to take the first tower. No way. There is no way we are going to. My tower will gonna fall first, unfortunately. I'm gonna try to prevent it from happening, but... No, he will gonna take it. In 25 seconds I can actually TP somewhere, then again. This will make top tower fall. Doesn't matter. He, he, he just blown his abilities back and forth. Yeah, that greed. If you cannot beat your opponent, you win with wall. Now Echo is here. If you can't beat your opponent even with ulti, I mean even with uh, Ignite, you are in a disadvantage. I need to work towards Sheen, I need Burst. My tower is still standing. Little bits of HP. By the way, I only now notice the time trio. Yeah, I probably should TP next. Oh yeah, they are going place their own either mid or top. Ow. I ate full burst, which is bad.
So it's those little bursts, bursts that I am doing. I really need to TP there, but why? Once again, what am I going to get by TPing there? Damn. This is so pointless. Yeah. Velkas overstayed his presence. Yeah. This is so bad. This is... this is another reason. Oh, well... Yeah. Going to try and jump on Clad. Let's take the tower. Giving kills to Wayne is actually good because it will gonna bring her closer to her core build. Kills or me on all are also good, but It's not that even full build, she can do wonders even with uh, Blade of the Ruin King and uh, Gunzo's Rage Blade. Problem is, is that our Valkas is... For the person who was like farming all the time and he's like even with Talon who farmed and split pushed. And Rengar is tilted. Great, double shutdown. My ulti there was so good. And Velkas also. We just shredded them. They went full ham and it, it pays with their own lives basically. Yay, teamwork. Teamwork is actually quite good. I need to just farm, with me farming, this is actually going to... make a whole lot of difference. 
Because Camille is still Camille. Her damage, split pushing, and assassination potential still there. I believe bot lane tower is going to fall down. Yep. I have 50 second cooldown on the teleport. Still while fighting, Clad, you have to you have to realize that he's Oh, please, Rengar, you have to focus. <sighs> this is so bad. <sighs> nah, there is no point because he has his ulti. As soon as I, for example, ult him, he will just ult back and rewind time, full HP. And Clyde was dismounted. This is bad. We need this Drake. Without CC, we won't be able to burst Echo down really fast, so that he won't be able to use his his ult. We need to wait for the team, by the way. I perfectly zoned out Talon and forced his ulti. The damage is still scary. else could I do there. But what I know that I can do is I can... I can go split push because I have TP. Good thing that I zone Talon. Alright, what's this? Oh my god, he mounted back and he healed. Worst. Ah, oh boy. That's a Baron for them. Like, I don't know, he was like 100 HP. I went in, he got shielded, he got healed. Unfortunately, neither Velkas nor Rengar has their R's. Yeah. And now he is using R. Why? Whatever. This is insanely stupid. Exists because of me. 
Vanguard is dead. Yep. And now the whole team is going to die. Now they will gonna spam surrender. Yeah, what we will gonna do, we will going to just split push now, because Glad is here. It's really hard, they thrown our advantage into the gutter. Yeah, and we cannot even catch anyone. Yeah, we have to just stall for um, until um, their Baron goes down. This Rengar just wastes ulti over and over again. Oh no, he is actually doing stuff. Punish them, punish them for their mistakes. So one for five, and they have no Baron now. God that their AD carry and clap went super ham on me. Once again, I've done my job of just peeling for our AD carry. Since I have TP, I have to make like distraction. At the same time, I'm kind of afraid that they, they, they can just all in me. I can't really fight Clad on you. Yeah, that's good. That's actually super good. Their clat is coming, but we have to take tower. My ult probably wasn't needed there. It's pointless. All right, we trolled. We trolled so hard. That's an insane troll. 
That's a Baron. <sighs> Guys, the thing that you have to be aware of is if you're feeling that something is not like something is not right. Do not uh, go for it. Never goes out of fashion. Heh, <laughs> that's a second Baron. That's so sad. Okay, we have to somehow manage again. Right, we run. Run like the wind. They all are going after me. Privilege must be preserved at all costs. This Ranger is just popping his old time after time. I'm so dumb. Wasting my stun like that. And with turret mountain Drake on the table. They are doing it. They do not need jungler. Yeah, so it's operation kill echo it was operation kill echo and lose a team fight after that. Yeah. They still had Baron buff. Fifty five MR, I am going to be exploded by Echo, so I have to keep that in mind also. Yeah, we cannot win this. God, they had... Triple Zanyas plus GAs and stuff. 
Enemy killing spree. Oh, it's so hard. So let me get this straight. So he bought GA and he bought a stopwatch. Riot just refuses to remove this item from the game. It's so... I, I have no idea why. It's such a toxic item that just gives basically free Zonia's Hourglass. It's completely unhealthy for the game. So the amount of time it took us to kill Vlad was insane. Yeah, thanks Rengar. <sighs> it's just time and time again do the same stuff over and over yeah they do not focus glad he gets free remounts like twice or three times per fight. <sighs> like full build Vayne should shred him down, but I don't see it happening. It should happen, but I don't see it happening. Yeah, and now he has GA. God, no, this echo, whatever. They need to restrict the usage to few times during a match and made it only AP usable. They specifically wanted to make basically uh, to make a stopwatch for melee, but once again, where there is uh, riot games involved. What is supposed to work for one does not work for others. Like, because stopwatch is so toxic. It's already enough that he has GA. Already is. Also, I believe they are going to try and do Baron. Ah, uh, yeah. Double crit, half HP, gun. Yeah. 
Yeah, GG. They they did not even went in. Vayne is doing no damage to that clad. Yeah. Yay! It's a loss. Yep. So it's four, four, three for today. Shame, shame. But uh, alrighty then. In today's episode of League of Legends Rank Games, we've played 7 out of 10 promotion games. We won 4, lost 3. Probably we'll end up in plat 4, plat 3. Kinda sad to end up there, but what can you do? Well, whatever it is, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I hope to see you guys on the next League of Legends stream. The schedule for League streams and Grim Dawn streams are, um, can be found on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube on Twitch. You can see them. On Twitch you can see them below the video. I hope that you had one hell of a time. Hope you learned something. And I will see you next time. So, goodbye and have a great day.